Welcome back. Let's take a look at two different interpretations of multiplying a matrix and a vector. So one might be the following. Let me set up a little coordinate system right here. Okay, so like this and like this. And imagine we have a vector in it. So for example, let me do it in red though, like this. So imagine it's one to the right and two up. So that's our little vector. Now let's multiply this by some matrix. So for example, what I want to do is one, two, three, four acting on this vector one, two. Let's see what happens. So you do the dot product of each row with the columns. So you're going to be one times one plus two times two. And it's going to be three times one plus four times two. We carry this out and we get, well, one times one is one plus four, so that's five. And then three, four times two is eight, so that's 11. So in other words, what you can do is imagine the following happening essentially, which is the vector one, two is being acted on by the matrix and it's taking the vector one, two to five, 11. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. Now they're almost collinear, but not really, because if you send the red one, it'll go off this way. So this interpretation is defined. The matrix transforms a vector into another vector. So in other words, in this case, it means the red one is made into the blue one using the matrix. That's what it means. Now let's look at this other interpretation. So equals, and you can also interpret this to mean the following. One times one, three. So the one out here is this component of the vector. And the one, three is the column of the matrix. So it's like a little vector, one, three. Plus two. So the factors that two comes from the second component of the vector. Multiplying two, four, which is the second column of here, of the matrix. So what this is doing is combining the columns of the matrix to produce a new vector. So this interpretation is a little bit different, actually, if you think about it, because you're thinking about each piece here of the, each column of the matrix is in its own vector. So what you have is this, you have the following. Take a look at the one, three. Well, that means the following. One to the right, for example, and then one, two, three up this way. Look at the other one. So that's two, four. So you're gonna do one, two to the right, and then one, two, three, four, you see? So those are the columns of the matrix represented as individual vectors. So now let's finish up the multiplication here. You're going to have, we well, distribute the one, so it's one and three, plus distribute the two, so it's going to be two times two, which is four, and then two times four, which is eight. In other words, what it's doing is it's forming a linear combination of the columns. That's all. And you end up here with one plus four, which is five, and three plus eight, which is 11 you still end up with the same result as above, but the underlying thinking perhaps is different. You still end up with one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. You see, you still end up with that same vector as up here. If I take this and I move it here, you see how they overlap perfectly? That means it's the same vector, but that wouldn't be possible. I'll see you in another video. Leave a like if it's helpful.